All right, so quick update on the Ford. So what we got going on right about now, um, everything in here is basically buttoned up. The only thing that I really need to focus on is uh, getting my seats hooked up. Uh, there's about 10 wires there. So hopefully we can get those going real quick and kind of get that buttoned up, ready to have that interior working. Underneath the engine bay, the fuse and relay panel is out. What I'm doing right now, I have two main wires that I put into the fuse panel, one for the stereo and then one for the uh, auxiliary subwoofers that I'm putting in since I'm putting two factory subwoofers into this thing. And the one thing that's left to actually do before I can put the fuse panel back in and put everything back to where it was before is I need, I'm planning on pulling the power wire off of the relay for the rear backup lights and hooking it up to the fourth switch on the auxiliary switch so that I can turn the rear lights on like when I'm hooking up trailers and it, you know, it's in park, but I can turn everything on in the back. Uh, obviously there's parts of the air box there. I got two wires right there. I need to hook up a relay to actually hook up a ground source to one of the fans that'll kick on with the AC so that every time the AC cycles, I will for sure have one of the electric fans cycling. Uh, obviously the front wheels are off trying to figure out the brake situation, so I haven't figured that out. In this cobble nest, I still have both wiring harnesses underneath the dash for both the F-150 and the F-250. So uh, I was pulling wires off of the F-150 and hooking up to the smart junction box to try and get the navigation and heating work in this thing. Uh, I did turn it on once with all but one of the wires. I couldn't find one. I think it's actually in one of those pigtails that's cut off and nothing turned on except for I just realized after I tried it and got mad and walked inside that I didn't have the actual buttons for the display plugged in so I didn't even have a chance to push the power button. So hopefully that'll work later. So as of now that is a quick synopsis as to where the truck is at and Hopefully after this weekend, because the weather out in Oregon is not looking good, I will have more to post soon. So, oh, and then the battery charge is on here right now, charging the battery, because I'm getting ready to load up the five-star tune that I got custom made for this. So, wish me luck, guys.